back to the unleashing. I uh, <clears throat> want to share a few verses that I uh, heard the other day, and uh, I truly believe that uh, they're the hidden key on why uh, why the time that we're in right now is picked for uh, why the rapture is happening and uh, how they've been in the verses the whole time, and uh, <clears throat> uh, I think it really lines up with it perfectly. And I wanted to share that. I was out the other day and uh, I was praying and I ended up listening to a podcast of uh, a couple old guys talking and they brought up these uh, these few verses here that I'm going to share. And it really hit because uh, I truly believe that it explains why uh, in, in the context of the verses of the Bible, why the time between 70 and 80 years, why we didn't go in the first parts of it, 70 to 77 and why it's pushed all the way to the max here at 73 up to 80 years all right in between that fluctuation because seven years fits in between that 10 years and i believe uh these verses explain and i mean you can sum it up in your heart to uh you know god's giving people as much time as possible but it is going to happen uh but uh but this explains it and i want to share that uh i want to share that with you guys before I get started, <clears throat> for the last three weeks, I have literally dealt with and blocked and had to read thousands and thousands of comments coming from this channel from you guys <clears throat> about me being a false prophet, some message of hate, <clears throat> false teacher, or whatever else. All right, Morning, noon, night. All throughout the day hundreds and thousands of them it's just I've never seen anything like it in my entire life hitting on the whole rapture thing has stirred up a hornet's nest like I've never seen since the channel started and it's uh, it's nothing but pure hate that has been coming in <clears throat> and only now is starting to dwindle down it's been like three weeks now and uh, I mean I wake up to it I, I go to bed to it text my brother and I get three messages of hate in between our text messages it's just it's non-stop and uh, it really I really want to iterate this I don't enjoy I don't enjoy making these videos okay this is not uh, this is not a good time for me and uh, when I was commissioned to do it back in 2017 it's not something that I wanted to do and I told you guys what I said to God I'm like you're gonna have to keep them away from me and he has. Thankfully, I haven't. Uh, I haven't really ran into any of you guys. And, uh, but, but I've done this, all right. And this is not for a a joy or or anything like that. I was commissioned and required to do this. I want to explain something here. In the army, when you go in, if you're going to do a retirement plan, all right, twenty years, you're going to be asked <clears throat> to do recruiting or drill sergeant for two years okay this is something you can't get away from and there's only a few occasions under circumstances where you can get away if you're planning on doing your 20 years you're going to have to do that and the same case and scenario is what i'm trying to do for god here and what i'm pushing for in the mastery section all right i was required to do this all right you don't get to escape it you have to recruit you have to go talk to people in one form or another right and this is the form that was given to me to talk to people online all right and uh, and I started doing that in 2017 this hasn't been fun it's one of the biggest most difficult plagues in my life I feel like it has changed me permanently and every time that I make a video it chips off a piece of my soul when I talk to you guys, it's absolutely horrid. And I want you to know that, all right? I don't enjoy doing this. I'm, I'm finishing this up. For every single person that has asked and said, what happens if it doesn't happen this year? I'm telling you right now, I have shared every single message that I've had from God with you guys, fairly and openly. I've told you the secrets and told everybody to pray and check these things out for themselves. And they're, they're totally free to. Nothing has been hidden in that department. And it's completely open for you guys, all right, the whole time. The same as this. And when I was down on that beach talking to God, and he told me not to drink anymore, all right, for those that are, uh, for those that are saying that Bells above is talking to me, okay, all right, first of all, he's not going to be encouraging me uh, to uh, stop drinking and stop sinning, all right, 
when I was talking to God on the beach and he told me a few things, right? And I shared those that message with you guys. And in between that, I told him, hey, if there's anybody that need uh, you need me to talk to about you, I mean, send him down to the beach while I'm down here. And literally before I could even call anybody after our conversation was over, he sent that uh, um, veteran down, that captain that had cancer that I talked to him about God. I mean, through the whole thing, I was talking, all right? So if I was deceived in that, all right, that's that's going to be on me. But during that conversation when I talked and then prayed and then sat on it for a week and then asked for confirmations and then got them, not only from other Christians, but then from the Bible, and then prayed again and prayed again and prayed again because I don't do any of this lightly, all right? When he told me that it was happening this year, all right, if I have somehow in the process of that screwed this up wholeheartedly, that is something that I can now bring to the table to God and be like, God, I prayed about it. I asked, I asked you to step in at any single time if I was false or wrong in this process and you didn't do that for whatever reason you kept, uh, you kept that and allowed it to happen, but I am not fit to talk to people anymore. Okay. And now I need to, I need to step out of it because I will never lead any of you astray by even a fraction or a little bit or say that I've heard from God and, it, and it's not true. If it's even off a little bit, that is my requirement. And since I can't stand making these videos, I'm looking, I have been the whole time for a chance to get out of this. This is my chance. And I can do it wholeheartedly and honestly by saying that I misunderstood and I didn't hear from you, all right? And I will. So this, no matter what, this is the last year that I'm making these these videos, okay? I'm not, I'm not doing it anymore for you guys. I can't stand it, all right? I'm not doing it anymore, all right? This is the last year one way or another, but I'm telling you what I heard and I shared it with you. He told me he's coming back this year. Yes, it blows me away too. It's amazing. He said it's this year. It's absolutely incredible. But that's what I was told and that's what I was told to share. So that's what I'm doing, all right? And if it's wrong, that's between me and God and my apology to him and then Joyfully, I get to stop making these videos and I look forward to it. So one way or another, I'm in a win-win situation. I get to stop making these videos and the rapture is happening, all right? So it's good for me, okay? And I want to get that out because I don't enjoy doing this and you really need to know that this isn't fun. I've done it for free the whole time and it's killing me on the inside. I can't stand it. And that's me saying this in the nicest version possible. The real version, heads would be rolling, all right? Now, now that that's out of the way, I want to explain this to you guys real fast, and I want to show you these verses. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Luke chapter 13, all right, verse 6. When you speak a parable, this is Jesus speaking. A certain man had a fig tree planted in the vineyard, and he came and sought the fruit thereof and found none, and then said unto the dresser of the vineyard, all right, <clears throat> this is a fine explanation between God and speaking to Jesus, all right, the vine dresser. Then he said unto the dresser of the vineyard, Behold, these three years they come seeking fruit on this fig tree, and find none. Cut it down, why cumbereth it to, to the end of the ground? <clears throat> and he answered and said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about it and dung it. And if it bear fruit, well, and if not, then after that thou shalt cut it down. All right. Between the three years that the master comes looking for fruit, once the time's ready for this tree and it's growing of age, he says, enough. It hasn't grown any fruit. It hasn't produced anything, all right, in these three years. And the vine dresser, Jesus stepping in here, says, let me fix it up one more year, all right? Now for the fourth year. Let me fix it up one more year and dung it, fertilize it, and try it one more. And if it doesn't bear any fruit, then go ahead and hew it down, all right? And I believe that this explains perfectly why in 2017 when the rapture sign happened, and I'm telling you there's no other time I've listened and I've, I've seen people talk about signs in the heavens and stuff like that, and it's all a bunch of nonsense. The only time where it has actually looked like it checked out and real and fell within the timeline that we're looking at, all right, that's 70 years at the start, was the Revelation 12 sign, September 23rd, 2017. <clears throat> And I thought that the whole time. And when it didn't happen, I believe that it was the midnight cry. I've never seen uh, the world get attention like that, but then go back to sleep and, and totally fall asleep. At the same time, 2017, okay, Trump also started up as well, which was deception. But at the same time, it was a chance for people to uh, turn to God, which they didn't. They turned more away. They got more into darkness, which shows that, uh, like I've said plenty of times, 
People don't turn to God during good times. They do it during hard times, right? Uh, any chance uh, that they possibly can, they're looking to get back in the world, hoping that things continue on and they can get back more and more and more sin, all right? <clears throat> and for four years that, or for for the four years from that time, it lasted, all right? And now we're at the we're at the time period, and I find it very interesting that when you add up these times, it's exactly four years from 2017 to where we are right now in 2021. It's that extra extended period of time. And I believe it is the parable that explains why we go at 73 to 80 in between that timeline, right? What we're looking at right now, why the rapture is this year, and why it didn't happen at that time back there in 2017, or at the beginning of the 70 years exactly, all right? And uh, I heard I heard these a couple of guys talking about it. It's the first time that I had heard it addressed and, uh, and in that context, and I thought it was very very interesting and it really hit and I was already I was already out there looking for answers anyways when I, I just happened to stumble upon it and uh, I wanted to uh, share that all right because I, I really do I, I think that it explains it perfectly and shows why and it's just another sign that uh, God's been giving <clears throat> giving as much chance all the way to the right up to the last bit Everybody they can possibly to uh, to find and, and come home and of course in these last four years um, You know, I have got to run into more people and talk to even more. It's been the last push the last call that last urgency All right Since that time to go out and push even more Coincidentally enough 2017 I had already been out seven years ago. I've been at this seven years now this month Talking to people and preaching all right, I was sent out in 2014. Interesting enough, I'm not the only one that was sent out by God at that time. I have listened to other teachers out there that were also pressured to go out and start preaching all right, to the world seven years ago in 2014, okay? It's interesting, and I don't think it's a coincidence. Another thing that's interesting, in 2017, when me and Dustin started up the channel, all right, and I started making these videos to reach people online and stuff like that, which is a huge group. But unfortunately, the, and it's the problem that I, that I have the most. I, I really like to give to people when I look in their heart and I see there's quality there, honor, uh, decency, uh, you know, hope for, for them being better. I want to give great messages and information to them. I don't like throwing pearls before swine. And filth and 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 crap, and when you talk online, that's uh, that's exactly what you get. You're you're spreading it out to the whole world, and it's nothing but filth and trash out there. And I'm not talking about the world. I'm talking about people that claim to be Christians, the most filthy, wretched, disgusting group of people I've ever seen in my life. I can't stand it. I've said it before. Christians. Those that are so-called Christians are an abomination. Absolutely, I cannot stand the lukewarm. It's it's pure vomit. It's disgusting to me. And uh, I've seen more honor and uh, and quality in people that are in the world that just don't know about Jesus yet or have never heard the message than I have from uh, the Christian community, which on the majority is absolutely disgusting. I've told it before, and I'll say it again. I saw eight people going up. The numbers are incredibly small. It adds out to half of 1%. All right, that doesn't account for kids or children, but uh, adults that should know better and are walking the line, the Philadelphia church, those that are actually doing what they're supposed to, the commission, holding the line and repenting uh, when they mess up, all right, and everybody does, but actually caring enough to repent and, and, uh, and continue to get back up. The numbers are so small, it's just unbelievable. It's gonna shock, it's gonna shock everybody uh, when they find themselves going right into the tribulation, all right? <clears throat> but interesting enough, in 2017, when I was told by God, commissioned to go talk to everybody online, I said, God, I, I mean, I figured this out. I'm like, they should be able to, too. And he says, no, you need to talk to them. So I'm like, okay, I do. And of course, since that time, I've only discovered that everybody's absolutely dumbfounded, has no clue about anything going on, and nobody would be able to figure anything out for themselves at all. Almost the entire majority are absolutely, to be gently just saying, retarded, all right? That, that is the majority, and uh, but I, I sent out, and, and I've done it, and I've talked to everybody, I've shared all the secrets, and, uh, and I've done it the whole time. I've told you one thing after another, every lesson after another, what to watch out for, the dangers of once saved, always saved, what the government's been up to, what they're planning, to, what to watch out for, okay? All of it, the whole time, the whole thing, <clears throat> and I've shared it all freely with you guys, all right? I'm not the only one, interestingly enough, that was commissioned to do that, to start talking online, in 2017 and I just heard another 
I just heard another Christian brother that said that. This is somebody that actually, I feel confident in calling a Christian brother, right? Uh, Fig Tree Parable Channel, all right? Uh, the guy, the the guy does incredible work, and uh, and has been a Bible teacher for a long time. And I only stumbled onto him recently, and I don't usually listen uh, to other people's channels and stuff like that. But the uh, the guy does a an incredible job, and uh, I might leave a, a link to uh, to his uh, web page if you guys have never heard him before. He does a good job, but he as well was commissioned to go up by God in 2017, and I don't find that coincidence at all. And uh, and I really feel that it, it lines in this parable of chapter 13, six through nine of Luke. <clears throat> of that last push, all right, to reach people, and uh, and that's exactly what's taking place right now. It's uh, it's one last push to get to as many people as possible and talk to them before time is up. And the time was up back in 2017, September 23rd, and uh, and I think this is the extended four years that line up with that and push us into the 73 year mark. The tribulation will be between years 73 and 80, okay, I really do, and I think that this explains and it's the one time where uh, it's hit, and uh, like many verses in the Bible that are overlooked and misunderstood at the time, only afterwards you get the full picture, this is the same thing, I don't think anybody would have noticed this uh, ahead of time, I've never heard anybody talk about it until uh, until just the other day and now after the fact these four years between the three and the extra there uh, these four extra years that go on from 2017 to 21 uh, it uh, it lines up with it absolutely flawlessly and uh, <clears throat> I really thought that that hit home but I wanted to share it Time's up this year, like I've said. I was told that it was. Uh, it's most definitely up. The way that things are lining up and looking, uh, I don't see any other way around that. Um, it's only it's only pushing even more. For those that are arguing about the mark of the beast and stuff like that, you're playing with fire, and, uh, and I, I won't allow it in the comment section either because every time somebody says that it isn't, and you know what I'm talking about, 15 weaklings will use it their excuse, oh gosh, to go get it, only to have the dread come over them after, and they go, what have I done, all right? Cowards are constantly looking for an opening, an opportunity, and the people that are saying there aren't, or that it isn't, are probably already planning to do it themselves, all right? I won't, I won't tolerate it. I won't. I've seen too many times in the comment section over the years, and I've kept the comments up all these years so that you guys can talk, ask questions, and ask for prayer. Not so you can say blessings from the UK, blessings from Austin's, blessings from Tennessee. I could care less about that. I'm not here for friendship or a good time. I'm here to answer your questions and, and pray for people if they need it. And I, every time anybody asks for a prayer in the comment section, I do it right on the spot. I pray for you, all right? It's not for uh, chitter chatter or having a good time. I'm not looking for groupies. I never have been, all right? Or followers, all right? The only person that anybody should be following is Jesus Christ and God, all right? If you get something from me that's good, take it around with it and thank him for it. I don't care about your thanks either. I never have. I've never asked for anything from you guys other than that you give your life to Jesus, take it seriously, and you walk the line and hold it. That's it. And repent when you mess up. That's the only thing I've ever asked from you guys. I want nothing in return the, the entire time, all right? And uh, I've made that bluntly clear over and over again. But constantly in the, constant sec uh, in the comment section, I've had, to, uh, I've had to mitigate and get in there. And if I don't get in there fast enough, I've watched time and time again as some Christian will step in there and somebody will swoop in under the power of Satan, say a couple things. I don't even know how they do it in the comment section. It blows my mind how somebody can follow some blindly, somebody with a CZ47 name, all right? Not even a profile picture or anything like that. They can hear a couple things from and be pulled from the faith, and their soul is gone forever. And, and I've had to watch it time and time again. So I've done everything I can to restrict what the comments say and what people do because I watch them fall away. And every single Christian everywhere that I ever talk to, the majority, they're all narcissists. The only people that you think about is yourself. You literally think when you're talking to me that I'm only talking to you and there, there's nobody else and there's no, uh, there's no implications for the stuff that you say. You need to be very careful in what you're saying. You don't. You don't, you, you don't know what you're doing. Every time you say something stupid like, hey, it's, the mark, it's not the mark of the beast with this freaking thing that's going on that's being blocked, people are getting strikes everywhere for what they're talking about, you're opening up the door for weak Christians to go, I'm going to go get it. Wish you're going to die anyways when they do it, all right? It's a death sentence right from the start. Do not play around with this. I told you to treat it exactly like what it is, the mark of the beast, and pray that it isn't for those that have taken it already, all right? And don't go any further than that. Just treat it like it is, okay? And don't say anything else because 
people are constantly looking for an excuse to be cowards, all right? And I've seen it time and time again. They'll fall away and they'll make the worst mistake of their life, right? In the comment section, all right? I won't put up with it. I'm tired of it. I'm so close to just getting rid of the comments permanently. I don't even want to hear them anymore. There's nothing that's come out of it. And the entire time that I've been teaching, not once... Not once has anybody requested information on how to go Delta, all right? All four and a half years that I've done recruiting, all right, for God on this, not once has anybody requested go Delta. This is a failure and a half to me, all right? Every single person wants, in you know, comparison to Army, they want National Guard and they're two years so they can get free college. That's it. That's it. That's great if you make it to heaven, but mo the majority are rolling in in diapers and they're shitting all over themselves, okay? That is what the majority of you are. And it disgusts me. It absolutely disgusts me. I can't stand it. I cannot stand that all of you have decided to be baby Christians your entire life. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of talking to you. I really am. I've, I've had it. This is the last year that I'm doing this and, and then I'm, it's over. I, I don't want to do it anymore. I, I don't enjoy this and this is not a good time, all right? All right, I've shared, I've shared another sign that shows, hey, this lines up for it being this year, all right? But after this, you know, I don't want to do it anymore. I'm sick and tired of it, all right? I'm sick and tired of it.